my channel. Today I'm doing my July favourites. I'm just going to go ahead and jump straight into it. My first favourite is this Mario Badescu drying lotion. I think that's how he says his name. I'm not entirely sure I could be pronouncing it wrong. Mario Badescu skincare. Please correct me if I'm wrong. This drying lotion is amazing. You basically have like a teeny tiny bottle and at the bottom it's kind of got like a sediment which has like sulfur and different ingredients in it and then you've got like the I think it's alcohol component here and when you want to apply it you use a cotton bud you go down you take some of the sediment from the bottle you do not shake it and then you kind of left with the sediment on the swab and you just kind of dab it on your spots I've been using this whenever I've had a bigger breakout and I love it I've been wanting this for months and months anyway because I know other people have been loving it and I really wanted to try it but I couldn't justify paying the delivery on Beauty Bay for one item so I was just waiting until I needed like something else to order honestly it is a little bit pricey for how much you get in the bottle but it works so well if you struggle with particularly big spots like what I get like big white heads I get quite like pustular ones and yeah really really like this it's very quickly become a staple in my routine and I've been using it all month the next thing that I've been loving, which I also got from Beauty Bay, is this RCMA No Colour Powder. This is amazing, this powder. The only thing I don't really like is the packaging. The packaging is a little bit awkward. You kind of have to like tip it out or maybe use a different kind of package for it, like reuse something. Um, so it's a little messy, but the powder itself, the formula is amazing. It does really work well to mattify my skin and help my makeup last longer. It also is great for flashbacks, so it's perfect for weddings, photography, um, events where you're gonna have maybe some flash photography taken. It's really good for that. It doesn't cause your face to get super white in photos. And overall, I think it's really good. I think the price of it, it sounds expensive, but you get so much product in this. Like this will last forever. Also, it's cruelty free. I forgot to say the Mario Badescu one is also cruelty free. Of course, I'm only buying cruelty free things now. So yeah, definitely recommend this. Please give it a go if you haven't tried it. If you want something for events or weddings or occasions and stuff like that. You okay there, baby girl? Oh my gosh. I just realized I haven't put any lip stuff on yet. Lucky that the next product isn't actual lipstick. I think I might just put it on. <laughs> my next favorite is this lipstick from Revolution. It is the shade Awaken. Yeah, that's the one. I don't know what range this is. I don't know if they actually call the different lipstick ranges a name because I've never noticed it. I just noticed the different styles of packaging. Um, but yeah, this is kind of like a slight pinky nude with some brown undertones but it looks really really good on my skin especially when I've got a bit of a tan it's a really nice creamy formula and it looks lovely I'm gonna put some on actually I feel like it really gives me the your lips but better kind of vibe and I really really enjoy it and it feels so nice on your skin it's just so smooth and soft. <laughs> Again, Revolution are cruelty free, so they're a really good alternative to the Rimmel or Maybelline lipsticks if you're looking for cruelty free alternatives. My next favourite is kind of in relation to the sunburn I got this month from the hot weather in the UK. I fell asleep on the beach for about half an hour and I got really, really bad sunburn on my back. It was so painful and so uncomfortable. So I have been using this Sole um, Moisturising After Sun Body Butter, which is, Sole is a brand owned by Superdrug, so it is cruelty free. And this body butter has aloe vera and shea butter in it. It's so thick and moisturising and it smells amazing. One thing I don't normally like about after sun is they're usually quite oily and they don't really soak in very well and they feel a bit sticky. But this, because it's like a body butter, it feels quite similar to when you're just applying like a body shop body butter or just a body cream. So that's why I've been really liking it and I feel like it's really helped to soothe my back and it just feels so cooling when you put it on. That feeling after you've had sunburn where it just feels hot all the time and then you put on a nice cream and it just instantly cools down is so relieving. So yeah, that's a firm favourite. My next favourite is a fashion item and it's something I got a few weeks ago and I've been wearing it almost every day since. It's this backpack from Primark and I've already added like some of my own pins. The only thing that I'd actually came with on the bag already is this Mickey Mouse little rainbow jewel. All these other pins are all things that I've stuck on myself just because I think it looks cute and it's kind of personalised to me. 
It also has these um, rainbow jewel ears, which have gone a little bit floppy from the heat, I think, but I still think they're pretty cute. It's quite a decent size. It's obviously um, fake leather, faux leather, pleather. Uh, I'm not even entirely sure if it's pleather, but I know it's not real leather. It has this front pocket here that you can just put your hand in, and then, oh. How was that tied on? That, that's never happened before. Really weird that that would happen while I'm filming. I need to try and reattach this. I don't even know how it was tied on. Why did you have to do this when I was just telling everyone how much I loved you? Anyway, I'll just have to use this little stub of a zip now. But inside there's so much space for everything. So I keep my purse in here. My camera is usually kept in here with my little tripod. Obviously like medication and it goes quite deep. Like there's a lot of space in here. Look, there's wipes, there's like tissues and all sorts of shit, eye drops. There's a pocket in the back here. There's, oh, I thought there was a pocket in the front, but there's not. This bag I've loved, I've wore it so, so much, like literally every day. I'm so glad I went for a backpack. I've never really thought about getting a backpack before. I've only really wore like handbags, like crossbody handbags. And I always find that they're really heavy on my shoulders and I really struggle to carry them when I've got more stuff in them. Like I usually have to carry quite a bit of stuff like medication and, Things like that. Um, so this is perfect, especially for if I'm just going out for a walk with the dogs or if I'm having a day out, a day trip. This is really, really handy and I can just literally bung everything in it and I really like it. And I'm sure it wasn't expensive. It was probably like five to 10 pounds something like that i'll find out for definite and i'll link it down below my next favorite is a game that i've been playing almost every single day for the last two months i believe maybe it's even a little bit longer it is sea of thieves which you can play on xbox or on pc i've got it on pc personally i waited for the price to drop down a bit because i didn't want to pay 50 quid for a game when it first came out i believe i got it for about 25 to 30 pounds in the end the game itself is basically <laughs> you're a pirate and you sail the seas you go to islands you look for treasure you do quests for um different people so you've got like the gold hoarders um what's the other person there's a person where you collect schools for and i don't know their name and then you've got the merchants alliance which is where you collect like gunpowder and chickens and pigs and we add stuff like that and you level up you get coin and you can spend your coin on like a way for your ship to look like on better sales you can spend money on weapons on your clothes and it's um in a server so there are other real people in the same place as you so there's different ships also doing quests which can be a bit difficult sometimes it's fun because people can be friendly and nice other people can be a bit of a dick and aren't as nice and they'll try and sink your ship and steal your treasure which is extremely frustrating when you've just been on like a really big haul and you've got a lot of stuff to hand in and then they just come along and take you down it's very annoying but yeah they have some really cool updates in the game recently which is where they had like mermaid statues and you could find them and like when you get a certain amount you got um like a recognition like you've got like a title on your name above you which i personally quite enjoy i quite like doing little mini quests inside games and because you can play with friends i think you can play up to four player i've been playing a lot with eric obviously so we both sail in the same ship and we do the quest together and we like share the loot and yeah i've just been really really enjoying it i've been so into it and i'm not usually the type of person to really enjoy pirate type stuff but if you're looking for a game to play with friends it is a really, really good game to do. I wouldn't recommend it if you want to just play it solo because it is quite difficult to like sail the ship and do the quests and make sure other people don't try and nick your stuff. <laughs> but yeah, it's such a good game and if you're looking for something to play, then I would definitely recommend it. That is everything that I've been loving this month. Please let me know anything that you've been enjoying. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave it a like, subscribe to see more like this, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.